uh, for the 12th Mekong Ganga Cooperation Ministerial Meeting being held after a gap of two years and the first time in person since the COVID-19 pandemic. My special greetings to our colleague from Vietnam who couldn't join us but who is there uh, through, uh, through a virtual presence. Uh, I would like to convey my compliments to Lao PDR for their efforts in organizing today's meeting as MGC co-chair. I would also like to express my particular appreciation to Hello. Thailand check, check, for their check. invaluable support in convening the meeting today uh, in Bangkok. Dear colleagues, the lower Mekong region holds immense significance for India, both in a historic sense and in a contemporary one. We represent ancient water river civilizations of this continent. Peace and prosperity in the region also plays a pivotal role in realizing Prime Minister Modi's vision of security and growth for all in the region under India's Act East policy. The Mekong Ganga cooperation holds a special place in this region as the oldest sub-regional cooperation rooted in the rich his historical, geographical and <coughs> cultural ties among our six member countries. It epitomizes our commitment to build upon our rich heritage and channel our collective aspirations into tangible actions that will positively impact the lives of our citizens. Our commitment extends beyond rhetoric. It is grounded in action. Our various flagship projects such as the MGC Quick Impact projects that my co-chair referred to, the MGC scholarships, the Centers for Excellence in Software Development and Training, and the MGC Traditional Textile Museum bears testament to a commitment for on-ground implementation.